What's up guys? We are back with another video. And not just another video, but another travel vlog. This time, I'm currently on I-70 and we're heading all the way out to California to Big Bear Lake. Never been to Big Bear. I heard it's really cool, so I'm stoked to check that out. My buddy, Ali, is with, of course. Comes on all the trips. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little travel vlog. I think we're gonna spend some time out in California uh, after the show, so hopefully get some mountain biking in, little, uh, I don't know if you call it rest and recover. We've been going hard all summer, uh, launching new products and, and working our tails off. So uh, yeah, just a, a little break for me and Ollie, and uh, we'll see what we can get into. <laughs> Stopped at an awesome little burger shop uh, somewhere in Utah. We're trying to get to St. George. I guess the light would be better this way. We're trying to get to St. George. We've got about an hour and a half to go yet. And uh, that's going to be it for day one. We made it. All these here to, we're in St. George. So we drove about 10 hours today. And um, yeah, everything went smoothly. It was a little windy for a little while. So we're fighting, kind of fighting the wheel. The Revel's a bit heavier than our normal DIY vans. Um, so it makes it sway a little more. <laughs> Ollie wants to be in the shot. But just sitting here on the laptop, uh, of course I have to do payroll. Can't forget about that when I'm traveling and get the dudes paid. But we're sitting on the bungee box and the drawer box, the new products we made for the Revel. Um, and Ollie fits on here with me, which is cool. Have another place to sit. And it's a little crammed back here because I have my mountain bike. Um, I got my feet over the bike, but uh, yeah, I think putting the bike outside would probably be a better option, but don't quite have that all figured out and set up yet. All right, here's how we do it. Morning number two. Nitro cold brew in the coffee cup. Ollie uh, just waking up. Two minutes. All right, catch up a little bit of work, drink some coffee. Ollie uh, says he's ready to get out. Taking Ollie for a cruise and checking out the sights. Just made it to the top of Big Bear. I guess this is actually Big Bear Ski Resort. You can see the lake down there. Pretty sick. And the resort shut down for the year. Uh, somebody in town told me I could ride these trails, so I pedaled up here on the e-bike and uh, Nothing's marked so I got to figure out where to go down, but uh, it should be pretty rad. Rode up like a flowy green trail That uh, was uh, pretty fun, but might just take that back into town Everybody down at the show is getting set up. Ollie's taking a little snooze We did a little one-wheel lap around the lake. Well, not the whole lake, but around town just checking shit out and uh I had to get out for a bike ride before the chaos of the weekend starts. Hey, what's up? Oh. Rip. 
Day four, you know how we do it. Coffee in the morning. Yes. Well, that's a wrap on the Big Bear Show. It was super cool, we got to meet a lot of people, show off some of our Revel parts. Of course, I never do enough filming. Sorry about that, but I think we got one time lapse you probably just saw from that but yeah so now me and ollie are cruising i think we're gonna head up to like the tahoe area uh we might spend one more day here in big bear riding bike and i think we're gonna go on a hike now we got the bike on the prototype work stand but super rad can put the bike up there and work on it ollie's hanging out down there and i'm about to go ride some trails This is the spot. above well way above the lake but uh, just down here is the ski resort and I just rode so basically from here I can ride my bike over to the ski resort and then just ride right back here so pretty awesome um, I think you there's a lot of places to camp up here which is really cool and uh, yeah so we're gonna barbecue out and uh, hang out have a beer maybe catch up I got a little service up here and we got the Starlink so maybe catch up on a little emails and uh, have a good night. Lake Tahoe. It's uh, pretty gorgeous. Last night got a little spicy. Uh, we kind of got in late. I checked out one spot and it didn't really work out. Um, just there was kind of other people there or whatever. So I found another spot. We went to it. It was just getting dark. 
The entrance, which you're gonna see in a second, was wicked. There's some really big holes, and it was kind of one of those things where I was like, I didn't really want to go up it, but it was getting late, and I just wanted to park for the night. So we rallied over it, and um, yeah, so we're actually by a little creek. Ollie's checking it out this morning. We're gonna go ride uh, some cool trails today. Yeah, you'll find there, you're right on top of the rock. Gently does it. Okay. All right, you get your own, you're about to be on the blocks now. Look at that. All right. Well, it never looks like much on camera, but this section is the section last night that I had to come up and it is pretty, pretty gnarly. Like, especially over here, this hole is, I don't know, that's like two feet deep at least. Gnarly stuff, so the path was over here. This is a really big hole. I had to straddle that, and then I put out my leveling blocks just to make the step off that little rock not so gnarly. But Sprinter made it down, nice fellow there, kind of spotted me. Over, over this hole, and uh, no problem for the rebel. Oh. I'm riding on trail mode, because I'm down to three bars. Oh, now I'm down to two. So that shows you how much climbing has been done. I might need to drop to Eco to get this ride done. Well, we made it. Made it to Mr. Toad's wild ride. I was a little nervous because uh, I hit two bars and they're still like, eight miles to get to this downhill. Now it's pretty much all downhill from here. We can ride trail or whatever we want, but it's all downhill. Ride it, don't slide it, brother. Halfway down the descent, super, super fun. Some like really chunky and then it goes into flowy stuff. The uh, 360's dead. So I got the top bit and some of the gnarlier rock sections, but really, really fun trail, man. Awesome. Not a bad campsite for the night. Found this awesome lake. Vans right up there. Can't beat that after a good day of riding. What's he doing? Go, 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 go. Well, after last night's uh, rough entrance to camping, um, just a rough road and kind of got in super late and it just never feels as good as getting to your campsite in the light you can see what's around you go for a little walk i really prefer that and tonight we freaking scored this awesome little lake there's two other vehicles here cool guys I already talked to and um yeah it's perfect fire rings a lake 
the van's right back there. Can't beat it having a beer. Had an awesome day. One of the best mountain bike trails I've ridden in a really long time or maybe ever. And then went to Lake Tahoe and took a dip. You can't beat it. Ari, what are you doing down there in your bed? Did you have a good sleep? Well, I think I'm officially in love with Tahoe. Last night's camp spot was amazing by that little lake. And then this morning, this is our drive up to where we're gonna be mountain biking today. And I don't know, what, what else can you say? Look at it, would you look at it? Last day in Tahoe, we're heading home today after our ride. It's been amazing. All right, another Gorgeous day here in Tahoe, and uh, we're back out on the bike. So this time we're above Incline Village, and we're doing a little self shuttle up to the top near the Flume Trail. But I believe we're gonna ride this other trail. I'm blanking on the name. Looks pretty rowdy. Got a bunch of jumps. That's a wrap on the Tahoe uh, Big Bear trip. Sorry, I just woke up. We drove last night until about one o'clock in the morning on the 50. If you never drove on the 50, um, there's no gas and there's no rest stops. So you're pretty much on your own. We got to a place where I had like 20 miles left of diesel in the tank and just Luckily, there was a gas station we made it to, but after that, there was not another one for like 100 plus miles. So yeah, there's there's not a lot of services on the 50. Uh, I guess it's probably not driven quite as much as like 70 and 80. Um, but anyways, so we pushed on and made it to into Utah, found a truck stop, and uh, just so happens that we had to drive until one in the morning to get there. So. I uh, set my alarm for 7 a.m. this morning and I did not get up. It was 9 o'clock when I rolled out of bed. Ollie's back there. He's still on his bed. 
yeah, nine o'clock when I rolled out of bed and hopped in the driver's seat, push on. So today we got seven hours, cruise back into Colorado to get back home. And yeah, it was, it was a really awesome trip. Um, as always, I never film as much as I wanted to, but uh, yeah, Big Bear was rad, great show and uh, the season so wrapping up the show season and then heading up to tahoe for a little adventure that was super cool never been to tahoe so i'll definitely be back to both of those places super fun and yeah until the next one uh like and subscribe to the video if you guys like this kind of content check out our instagram and we'll see you on the next one peace